Hey, it's Tom. This is first video uh, in which I will try to solve the coding interview problem. Mm, for the first video, I decided to choose the most simple and uh, probably most popular uh, problem, which is called to sum. And as you see, uh, I used lead code as a provider of mm, coding interview questions, problems. So uh, let's go back to the, to the problem. Given an array of integers, return indices of the two numbers such that they add up to a specific target. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution and you may not use the same element twice. In provided uh, example, we have a target which is nine and an array of four numbers. And as you probably see, the first and second element add up to the, to the target. Mm. And there are a couple solutions for, for, for this particular problem. Mm, maybe let's start with the most simple one, the brute force. So let's switch to the whiteboard and maybe uh, we can change the target. So it may be a little bit easier for you to understand how this is working. So we have nums, which is two, seven, 11 and 15. And the target, maybe uh, maybe 18. So the first and the most simple solution for this problem is to choose the first element from an array. In this case, it will be two. And add up with each of the following numbers. So in the first iteration, we have two plus seven, nine. In the second, it will be two plus seven, two plus, uh, sorry, 11, 13 and two plus 15, 17. Okay, we, we passed through the uh, all numbers and there's no target. So in the second step, we will switch to second number and we'll try to sum up with all other numbers in the array. And if we will start with this seven, there's no point to start to add up to two, two because we have done it in the past. So we just need to add it up with 11 and 15. So 7 plus 11 is 18 and yeah, it's our target. So there's no point to count further. Okay, maybe let's switch back to the code and I will show you how we can implement that. We can do that in Visual Studio Code. That's, that's my favorite editor. So um, basically we need uh, two loops, one within another. So the first loop will be used to go through all the numbers. And the second will start with, with the next number that uh, is after the, <coughs> the index of of the first loop, as as we um, showed that in the whiteboard, so we'll maybe start implementing that. Uh, we can call it index. We start with zero. Index has to be smaller than nums. Uh, yeah, so so why it has to be smaller than the whole length of, of the array? Because the first array uh, will be used just to find the first uh, index and the second one will start from the following number. So we cannot go to the end of the array because 
in this case the next uh, loop would start behind the array and uh, that's that's not what we want to do so yeah now we, we need a second array a second loop sorry and as I said we need to start from the from the element following the previous one so yeah and this loop can go to the very last element of the array okay so we have uh, index and uh, the following value so now we can check if they add up to a specific target so okay and if that oh sorry if that uh, sum is equal to target then we can return an array of uh, indices index die and that should work I hope maybe let's check yeah so the first index is 1 and the second is 2 7 and 11 add up to 18 so that's basically the, the simplest solution brute force solution for, for this problem uh, however there is a different one which is uh, definitely much more efficient mm, demands more space but uh, in this case that's maybe not a big deal so yeah maybe uh, let's switch back to the whiteboard so the second solution for this problem is using a dictionary which will allow us to go through the whole array just once and the structure of the dictionary will be that the key will be the, the actual value and the value will be um, the index of this element in the array because at the end of the day we need an index so let me show how it will look like uh, in the real world so this is the first step our dictionary is empty so we're taking the first value from an array it's 2 and we see that the target minus 2 is 16 we are checking if the dictionary contains a key equal to 16 it doesn't so we we put that 2 into a dictionary and in the second step the array looks exactly the same but the dictionary looks a little bit different so the key is 2 and the value is 0 because it the number 2 is on the 0 index and now we are checking the, the second value 7 and target minus 7 it's 11 we are checking if the dictionary contains a key equal to 11 it doesn't so as in a previous step we need to add this number to a dictionary and in the second step in the first step the array once again looks the same but as you see dictionary is growing a little bit so uh, the second element is uh, value is key is 7 and the value is 1 and yeah we need to check if there is an element for 11 so target minus 11 is 7 we are checking if the dictionary contains a key equal to 7 and it turns out that indeed it contains so finally we have the two indexes so the, the first index is coming from the dictionary, it's 1 
and the second index uh, is taken from an array, it's two. And that's the solution for this problem. Let's switch back to the Visual Studio Code. Okay, uh, we can copy the function to save some time. Uh, we won't need that loop. Yeah, maybe let's just write it from, from scratch. So at first let's create a dictionary and the second step is going through through the array as we have seen on the whiteboard. Okay, so at this step we have to check if the dictionary contains an element which will add up to a specific target um, with our current number taken from an array. So if the so we have target minus nums. Yeah, if that's bigger or equal than zero, um, oh, sorry. Okay, uh, if that's true, then we can return the indexes so the first index will be from dictionary because it, it will be smaller value because in the dictionary we have only the, the the indexes that were checked in the past so okay and if that's not true, then we have to add this uh, this key and value to a dictionary. So the key is the the number, the actual value, and the value is index of this element. Uh, let me quickly check if that's correct. Yeah, I think it's correct. The result is uh, exactly the same. We can check once again. Yeah, the first and second element. Okay, so that's basically it. Two solutions, one the brute force, the second much more efficient. If you like this kind of videos, let me know if you would like to see the explanations in different language. Also, let me see. Hopefully you will enjoy that and soon I'll try to post the next video with different problem. Bye.